So we're going to start off making the bears. Um, this is one of the bears that I've made earlier. And I'm going to make another one the same size and shape. Um, look at his cute little tummy. I'm going to make another one the same size and shape using the stencil sheet. And this has got everything you need to make the teddy bear picnic scene. So starting off with the body, you need about two inches long by one inch um, bit of wool. And I'm just going to start by rolling it up. Just going to felt it all over. So I can already see that this isn't going to be enough because the more you felt uh, the wool, it, the more it shrinks down and compacts. So I'm going to wrap a bit more around that. B. I'm going to felt the base of the bear a bit more. And go right up through the middle. So you want the top area to be a bit thinner. So I'm going to felt that in, turning. So it's really gone nice and solid now. I do like, um, when I'm felting, I do like to try and make the pieces as solid as they can be. Right, so just check that with the stencil sheet. Um, okay, that's quite good. So, as you can see, this is a side view of the body, and if you want him to have a little bit of a, a pot belly, just going to make that piece separately using another bit of wool and then felt that on. So just take another little bit of wool and roll it up the same way and felt that. If you can see, I'm just going to zoom in a bit. his little belly on. And then to cover these joins, just going to take some more the same wool. Tiny little bits really. Um, lay them over and felt into place. So as you can see, once you've felted over some more wool, you hide the joints. I'm going to continue hiding the joints on his belly. So I'm just going to roll the whole piece as well between the palms of my hands and then shape with your fingers. So that's the body. And I'm just going to do the head now. Checking against the stencil sheet. Remember, the more you felt, it will shrink down. So although that's a little bit, little bit big, um, it's going to shrink down. So I'm going to keep going. Just that was perfect. And now I'm going to make the arms. Just going to divide it into fairly equal amounts. That one's a bit bigger. That fits a little. And then felt it all over before I start. And then fold the ends in. And then fold it, roll it that way. So it's good to try and get the length sort of first by folding in the ends of how 
um, long you want something and then actually rolling it and then felting. Roll again. So, quite a nice little arm shape there. Just check it against the stencil sheet. And it doesn't matter if the arms are a little bit long. Um, Check against your body. So it's gonna, you want it about the length of the body. That's good. Make the other one. So, it all over. And then check against the length. Hold the ends up. I mean, this is the difference. If you don't keep felting, you don't keep rolling. See, that's the finished arm there. Look how much. And it's the same amount of wool, but you really need to keep working um, at it to get your pieces solid and to the right size that you want. And check. So. And there you go, so they're about the same size now. So that's the arms and the body and the head, we're gonna do the legs. So the legs are actually stubbier than the arms, so we don't want them as long. Um, so I'm just gonna measure out the wall first, roughly. Bend the foot area up like so and felt through the bend. So minding your fingers, we're just gonna felt through the bend. There you go, one little foot. Um, little stubby leg and I'm going to do the other one now. So bending the foot area up and there's another stubby little leg. So we've got our legs, arms, body, head, um, so we're going to do the snout. For that you hardly need any wool really, I'm just using a little tiny bit and I'm going to roll it up, that might even be a bit much but we'll see, it doesn't, like I said it doesn't have to be exactly the same each bear and it should be okay so I'm going to felt that down. Just a little bit thicker, not a lot. So I think we're fine. Yeah, we're good. So I'm gonna attach that to the bottom section of the head now. I'm just gonna zoom in so you can see what I'm doing. Right, so I'm attaching the snout to the bottom section of the head. Um, and I'm just gonna go through round the edges right I think that looks quite good so there's your little bears 
snout on his head. So now I'm going to do the ears. Right, so for the ear, what we're going to do is just carefully bring the edges over and felt. So you get a nice round edge. And once you've done it once, lift it up, and carefully fold the edges again. So we keep folding the edges over to shape the ear and to create a nice edge. Good, so we've got our two ears. So I'm going to take some of this excess off the bottom. We don't want all of that. Hopefully, take a bit more off. I'm going to attach them now to the bear's head. So, attach them, sort of reposition them on the back. And then we're going to felt that in once we've got the ear on. So I'm going to felt through the back first. To I'm going to felt down here onto sort of the bottom corners into the head. one and I'm going to attach the other. So I'm going to make the nose now using this little bit of um, black merino batting and just felt a tiny bit together. Little oval shape like that. And I'm going to felt that in together there. I'm using my finer needle now, 38 um, star needle. And position the nose sort of in the middle, the point in the middle of the snout. And felt into place. Now you can either just felt it backwards like that. Um, or you can bring it forwards and felt the points together. I'm just going to felt it backwards on this bear. Give him quite a big nose, this one. On my other bear, I felted it, I brought it forwards, um, which gave him a smaller nose, but I'm going to give this one a bigger nose. Right, and I'm just going to sew a little mouth detail going up through the back of the snout. A couple of stitches. And then exiting at the base of the neck. Right, so I'm going to sew the head to the body now. So I've got my needle and thread. Going up through um, the base of the head, I'm just going to anchor anchor the thread on with a blanket stitch, like so, so it's nice and secure. And then you want to position the head so it's quite, you don't want it all the way back, you want it quite forwards. Um, and go down through the middle of the body, come out at the bottom, and pull the head into place. So I'm backwards, hang on, there you go. And then I'm going to sign off with another blanket stitch under the base, and hide the stitch by going back through, and it hides the knot into the wall and then you can actually just felt over 
any sort of, if there's any stitch showing, just to hide it. Okay. Right, so I'm going to sew the arms on now. You want to um, anchor your thread onto the thinnest part, the top here, the shoulder, just by doing a little blanket stitch. So I'm putting a knot in the end of the thread and then just a little blanket stitch. And then it is marked on the stencil sheet where to place, but you can sort of, you just want it to go obviously not high up so that it's bulging in the, in the head, but just so it sits quite nicely at the sides like that. And then I'm going to go through as straight as you can with the needle, so through to the other side. And look from the, make sure you don't go off at an angle, so you want to keep it nice and straight. And pull that through. And then I'm going to go through, back through again, to the arm. And back through again, to the other side, keeping the needle straight. Like so. And then I'm going to attach the other arm. <laughs> to attach the legs a similar way, just anchoring the thread on. And that's your little bear. Oh, we're just going to put his eyes in. Nearly forgot about them. Um, so, I like to sort of measure them in line with the inner part of the ear. So we're going to put one, make a little hole, push your needle all the way through, twist it. And then using a little bit of um, fabric glue, you can use PVA but it, it doesn't, I find fabric glue makes a permanent hold. And just pop the eye in. I've got some glue on his nose, that's okay. So that's one. And let's do the other one. there you go so there's one little bear and two little bears um, so now we're going to show you how to make the tea set right so we're going to start off with the um, how to make the teacup so what you want to do is cut a little bit corner section off of your foam pad because you're going to need that the cups are actually quite fiddly so we're going to need this um, in a minute. So, right, so what we actually have to do is get, um, you want it really quite thin so it's almost see-through and use the stencil sheet for the cup section but we don't want to fold the ends over this time. You need the ends to be, um, to be loose. So just make sure that you can fill the cup section, but it's still quite thin. Can you see you can see through the um, the wall? So now rather than folding this way and felting, we're actually going to fold in half again. 
and and felt. And I'm using actually um, the thick needle there, but in a minute I'm going to swap to the fine needle because you don't want all this fuzz on the other side. But for now, we're just going to smooth it. Smooth, smooth, smooth. Turn over and felt back through with the fine needle. We want these edges, the rim of the cup, to be really neat. So carefully drag them over and tuck with the needle, if you can see that. Tuck them in. And smooth with my fingers again. So now I'm just going to, once it's nice and smooth, just going to roll it around and have the loose fibre on this end just coming over and then this is where you need to use your um, little piece of cut off foam and carefully felt the joins together. So this is where the handle is going to go anyway, so it doesn't matter too much if there's um, the join. And then once you've um, felted the join, just put your little finger in or a pencil and smooth it around again. Just use a tiny little bit of wool and felt a circle but leave the edges loose. So we're going to felt that down, sit the cup on the bottom and drag these little loose bits up. And if you felt down, just throw the cup into the base and then cover the edges. And then what actually helps as well is if you if you rub the base on a of the cup on a hard surface, so not your sponge, but on a hard on the, on the, okay, this book, it will just help it to stand up. That's one. So here's one I did earlier. I'm just gonna um, show you how to put the handle on now. So to make the handle just got a little tiny bit of wool and just going to literally felt it and roll it. And just need to do a lot of rolling in between your fingers. This beeswax or cocoa butter just to smooth it. I'm not going to bother on this but the handle size on your stencil sheet so these are the little bits you want to leave on for um, attaching so on one so these are for attaching and then this bit in the middle is the actual handle. So if you find the join, uh, I don't know if I can see it now actually, where's it gone? It's there. And needle fill again, you can use your little cut off bit of sponge and felt the top half of the handle on. You felt it all the way in so that the fibres disappear so it's really on securely. 
and then take that out for a minute bend the little handle and felt the base So what you can do, if you want to now, is just, I'm going to do it in a minute, is just trim these little fuzzy bits off, like, like I did on this one, just give it a bit of a, to give it a bit of a trim. So what I'm going to do now, just add a bit of detail to the cups, and you don't have to do this, but um, I think it looks rather sweet. I'm just going to add a couple of little polka dots using some coloured wool. So, just tiny, tiny little bits of wool is what you need and the finest needle so we're going to make a little uh, little plate now here's one that I made earlier so it really is just a matter of smoothing over the edges and just felting um, as neatly as you can and you don't need a lot of wool otherwise you'll end up with a, a really thick sort of plate so just going to lay a tiny amount on top of each other like so and felt it all over and then I'm going to carefully fold the edges around So there's our little spotty plates and I'm just going to trim, turn over the backs and trim off all the fuzzy bits from the polka dots that have poked through. Right, moving on to the teapot now. So here's the uh, teapot sections and you've got the handle there. I'm going to start with the, the base, the body part. And we're just going to roll that up nice and tightly and felt all over and go right through the base and rub it backwards and forwards again on a hard surface just really firmly so that you get your teapot to stand up. Right, so we're going to make the, the lid. So you just take a little bit more wool and we're making the lid sort of the same way that we made the teddy bear's muzzle.
now I've just, um, the same way that I make the handles for the teapot and the cups, just roll and felt some of the um, darker brown wool for the rim that's going to go around the top. So keep doing that until it's nice and firm. And then we're going to attach it to the top of the honey pot, like so. And just wrapping it around and lightly felting it into place. So we meet the other side and join the two bits together. And once you've lightly felted it and it's in position and you're happy with it, then you can go back round and felt it more securely. So there's the rim on our honey pot, and now we're just going to add some of the um, orangey yellow for the honey into the middle. So now we're going to make the cake using some of the um, darker brown. So once you've felted your cake you can add some icing in the middle and that's just taking some of the yellow or you can use the, the white wool for the icing in the middle, I'm just going to use yellow and just use your needle to kind of draw it on. So all I've done now is just I sewed a little um, pink bead onto the top just to look like a little cherry. I'm going to make a little bow tie for this bear and I'm going to make a little flower to go in the by the ear of this bear. So we've got um, the boy bear and the little girl bear and um, one other thing I did was I just hand stitched some black thread spelt, spelling honey out to this little label and um, which is just felt and glued that onto the honey pot and then the last thing I'm going to do is cut some little sandwiches. Now I've actually used fabric glue. Uh, to glue this felt together, green for the lettuce, yellow for cheese in that one and using some, some sharp scissors I'm just going to cut some little triangles 